Brett Nelson with EastIdahoNews.com. I am in Ammon at the new Deseret Ind Industry Store, which is opening this week. Many of you have been anticipating this store since it was announced. And for those of you familiar with the shopping experience, you know that 100% of their merchandise comes from donors just like you. But Deseret Industries is so much more than just a thrift store. The only reason why we have the thrift store, the thrift store component of Desert Industries, is to pr provide a safe training environment for our associates. Um, so our associates are people in the community who may have uh, workplace barriers. Yates says these barriers include things like addiction, physical or mental disabilities, even communication challenges. For example, Desert Industries helps refugees who don't even speak English find gainful employment. And so many people come here and they're just they're, they're broken, their confidence isn't there, they don't feel like they can do anything, how can they possibly be successful? And here at Desert Industries, we create that safe environment where we do build them up and we help, we help them in all areas of their life. One of the new features of the new DI is this new two-lane donation bay. You just pull up, don't even have to get out of the car, and an associate takes your stuff and you're on your way. Now, in addition to the donated items DI receives, they also manufacture new merchandise. We have a manufacturing plant that builds furniture and mattresses and box springs. And so we have that always on hand because sometimes, a, you know, a family might need a particular thing, a bed or a jacket or something. We can't always count on the fact that we're going to have just what they need in their size. Um, but with the product that we bring in that's new, um, we're able to meet those needs. Kelly says the generosity of people in this community allows the operation of DI to be successful. We always have an abundance. It just comes in waves to us. And the stuff is su such quality that it surprises some of our people that come and volunteer. They show up and they see something at DI and they think, well, why is that donated? And I think it's because they understand what we do. With your small business spotlight in Ammon, I'm Rhett Nelson, eastidahonews.com.